She's rejecting our heart transplant. So, university stuffed her in a limo. Drove across town. And dropped her on our doorstep. Just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? Miss Harris, I'm Max Goodwin, the medical director. Did your doctors tell you why they were transferring you to New Amsterdam? They said you'd be better equipped to handle my needs. Is something wrong? Uh, they lied to you. Your body is rejecting your new heart. And once they realized there was nothing more they could do, they transferred you here. Why would they do that? To keep their mortality rates low. So, they sent me here to die? Karen Brantley, can I borrow you for a second? Ah, oh, Max, so glad you could join us. Mm -hmm. We said 8.30 sharp. Oh, I would have reminded your assistant, but you still don't have one. It's on my to-do list. Ah, uh, see, this is our hospital's very busy medical director. Hi. Max, oh. good one. Pleasure. Ozzy <clears throat> Cobb has pledged $5 million Five. over the next quarter. Wow. What can I say? I love to give. Thank you. Would you excuse us? This way. Just come with me. <clears throat> you do realize I'm trying to fund your hospital yeah. here. Well, university just dumped a patient on our doorstep days, if not hours, before she's expected to die. All right, you want to know why? Because they are cooking their books. All right, she's not going to die on their watch. She's going to die on ours, and she is not the only one. There have been others. Well, of course there's been others, Max. Every hospital dumps patients, even New Amsterdam. Hello. Sorry about that. Thank you for choosing Bell Gardens Hospice. Excuse me, hi. All right, visiting's not for another 30 minutes. No, I'm not visiting. Oh, okay, intake's down the hall. <laughs> I'm uh, not here to drop off either. I'm actually, excuse me, here to pick up. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, well, I'm sorry, because you've gotten some of New Amsterdam's patients by mistake, and I'm here to take them back. Well, wh which patients? <laughs> uh, All of them. New Amsterdam has been failing our patients at the end of their lives. We care for them right up until their last days. And then when curing them is no longer an option, we pass the buck. We turn them loose on overburdened systems, hospice, nursing homes, unprepared families. This is not what end-of-life care should look like. So we are going to change that today. Welcome, excuse me, to the New Amsterdam Palliative Care Unit. In my hallway? Working on that. Uh, every doctor is going to get a patient, and they will be with you till the end. What about our actual patients? Just rely on your residents and your attendings for now. I want your full attention here. Stage four adenocarcinoma. I guess they were right about the smoking. They're giving me four to six weeks. Mm. And what did you do before? Dying? Worked for the city council in Yonkers. I'd field all the angry calls. Your sidewalk's got a crack. Old power lines are drooping into your marigolds. I was the soothing voice on the other end of the Max, line. I need help with a very important you're donor, hired. and you flood the For hall what? with patients we've already discharged. Karen, I'm glad you're here. I'd like you to meet my new executive assistant, Adele Eisenbaum. Highly, highly skilled and tons of experience. I'm happy to come aboard. Great. Now, come back upstairs with me while I still got Ozzy on the hook. You know what? I would love to, but I, uh... uh oh, uh, unfortunately, Dr. Goodwin's schedule is a little crammed. Uh, he has to get everyone settled before people start dying in the hallways. I like those nails, by the way. But as soon as Dr. Goodwin sorts through this mess, you're going to hear from me. I like her. I hope you stick around. I'm temporary. We'll see about that. Now find a better place for these patients. Yep, working on it, boss. Maybe with a new coat of paint. Hmm? Don't make me quit before I die. Now this could work. Watch out. Okay. Yep. Okay. One second. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh. No. Yeah, no. <clears throat> Here we are. This floor hasn't been used in uh, years. Help. Sorry, watch out for whatever that is. Uh, don't even really know what's in that room. Uh, when equipment breaks down or loses its function, it 
ends up here. Even start calling it the graveyard. Oh my God. I know, it's perfect. Welcome to the graveyard. We're gonna change the name. Uh, this will be the home of our new palliative wing. It's gonna be a, a place to call your own. You know, your own, your own rooms, your own spaces. So just check it out and find a uh, spot that feels right for you, wherever you like, wherever calls your name, just. So, what do you think? I think it looks like a hospital. Not a ringing endorsement, but... We didn't pull our punches at the Yonkers City Council meetings. But I'm, I'm just looking for a comfortable place for people to... Kick the bucket? Yeah. Nobody here wants to die, Max. When you know your time left on this big blue ball is short, you look at things a little differently. I can relate. Actually. Well then, look around. We don't want a place to die. We want a place to live. And who in the hell wants to live in a hospital? Uh, hey, everyone. Sorry to interrupt. Um, it was recently brought to my attention that this feels like a hospital. So I'd like you to meet our new therapists and social workers, all of whom are fully trained in palliative care. I have also hired some acupuncturists and a yoga instructor, massage therapist, and last but not least, I would like you to meet Trinket and Cece. Hey, hi there. Uh, these guys are gonna hang out with you and have some fun. So without further ado, I'd like you to welcome the new full-time staff of the graveyard. And we've really got to change that name. I am impressed. Not bad, right? But like we used to say at the Yonker City Council, how the hell are we paying for this? I'm working on it. Uh, you should know that uh, <laughs> it looks expensive, and that's because it is, but it's the right thing to do, and it's all paid for. And how, pray tell, is that even possible? Because of you. All your hard work with the new donor, Ozzy Cobb, five million dollar donation. Wow, and all I need for this is one million. You, Karen Brantley, are a genius. Ozzy Cobb hasn't given a dime to this hospital. What's that now? He's a selfish tight ass who pledges millions every year and never donates a damn thing. I was hoping to get him on the hook, but he wriggled out again. And if you just have shown up, you might have been able to reel him back in, but you didn't, and now it's too late. Okay, <laughs> if I'd known that. Save it, Max because you just spent a million dollars we don't have. Um, Get everyone out of here today. Ozzy, I am so glad I caught you. You are one slippery fish. I, I told Chairwoman Brantley, I've seen everything I needed to see. Yeah, really. actually, I, not everything. The floor is yours, Max. OK, great, thank you. And uh, thank you all for coming. Tonight, I have the great pleasure of introducing our new palliative care unit, where our patients will spend their final days being cared for on their own terms. It's a dream come true for this hospital, but it almost didn't happen. Thanks to a very, very charitable last minute donation, we can now call this one of a kind unit a permanent feature here in New Amsterdam. So now, when you think of philanthropy, you will forever think of the Ozzy Cobb Palliative Care Wing. Take a look at that. Pretty good, right? Yes. Look at this guy. I, I didn't. I, I, I know. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I think what you're trying to say in front of everyone gathered here today, our patients. Oh, look at that. The news media, the print broadcast, and streaming outlets. Hi there. Is thank you. Now let's get a few photos of him signing the check, shall we? Let's really capture this moment of boundless philanthropy for everyone to see. Huh? Now. Hey, all right. 